So this is the third video for the books that came from Candlewick Press that were all out starting May 14th. And it was such a big box that it broke it into multiple videos. Um, and so this one is How to Take Care of Your Dinosaur by Jason Copcroft. Uh, it has a diversity character that I'm noticing off the bat. And it already looks set up for humor. Um, and so this is about getting your own pet and your pet happens to be a dinosaur, which is a little tricky to take care of, um, but it looks like, um, it looks like uh, there's instructions here in this book. So you starts off with an egg that hatches, looks like a T-Rex, and um, this is sort of about the friendship between a boy and his new pet, who, um, Take some adjustment, apparently. But um, yeah, this looks cute. I'll add this to my dinosaur uh, list. Um, and uh, yeah, it might, it, the illustrations remind me a little bit about um, that uh, how to how to write to your dragon by Josh Fong. Um, let's see. Here we have a board book. Who's hiding on the farm? by Catherine Mc McGowan and this is from Nosy Crow who's an imprint and this has flaps like this um, all over the place actually this one has multiple flaps um, and so it's all about animals and their babies and searching and finding things that are hiding behind the flaps so that looks like a fun farm with the flat book. Um, and then there's another book that's similar because it's part of a series of Who's Hiding at the Beach. Um, so similar to the Who's Hiding on the Farm. We're looking for creatures and they're all hidden uh, behind the flaps. So I'll add this to my beach uh, book list that I am now going to start. And then the last one is um, Juana and Lucas Big Problems or Big Problemas. And it's by Juana Medina, um, who is an award-winning author for the Pura Bell Prey. And just a shout out to um, Juana Medina. She was an illustrator for Multicultural Children's Book Day for our Empathy um, Classroom Kit, which covers um, immigration and refugee experience. And um, she's just like really lovely to work with and volunteered her time for that. And um, and I really like her Juana and Lucas, um, so kind of an early chapter book series. And it's about living in Bogota, Colombia. And just kind of a lot of just sweet adventures. Um, it's just really relatable. And what I lo love about it is, like, not only is her illustration style just universally appealing, but it also shows how uh, we're more similar than we are different because... Um, you know, this little girl, uh, Juana, um, who may or may not be, uh, telling stories about that are related to the author and illustrator. Um, it just kind of shows how life in Colombia is really not so different from life anywhere in the world, including the United States. Um, and I think this one, this book, which is hardcover, um, it looks also a little bit longer than the first book. So this is a, like a going, going to be a series. And the first book, um, I forget what the, t I, I think it's just called Wanna, and where, I actually, I'll look up what the title is and I'll put it in the notes. Um, but so this looks great. I'll add this to my, I have a early chapter book list. So I'll add it to that. Um, and also to my Latin American list. But, um, yeah, looking forward to this, to this series. I'm glad it's becoming a series. All right, well, thank you again to Cannawick Press and their imprint, Nosy Crow, for all these new great titles that um, all came out in May and are available now.